Hi guys, good morning. We will discuss otherwise. I will start it. Okay. Now yesterday's class we have discussed about uh, table per subclass was uh, created duplicate records in the main table, right? So for that what we, we need to add extra thing is let me show you that. Uh, in the model class so this is we know right inheritance type is uh, for the table per subclass we need to use join it okay for table per hierarchy guys what is the inheritance type table per hierarchy the inheritance type is single table okay for a table per concrete class the inheritance type is uh, table per class table for subclass inheritance type we should use as inheritance type as joined so the joined means it will not allow the duplicate data it will create it will maintain the relationship between the tables by using joins okay now let's see how exactly this is the main table person table okay it contains of id name and gender whatever the data even employee and student also contains id name gender is it correct or not right guys please respond guys so then in that case for employee related id name gender and student related id name gender will be stored in single table that is person underscore tpsc means table per subclass table only but how exactly we are going to relate these data with employee means whatever the primary key of this table will be used in employee table to keep the relation between person and employee okay now in the employee table the employee class is extending person right instead of storing the person id names gender in the employee table again okay creating up those columns again in the employee table instead of that i am storing employee id name and gender of employee properties i will store in the person table only and whatever the primary key of that person table i will use as a reference as a key primary key column in the employee table okay to keep the relation between person and employee okay for that we need to use of one column that is called annotation at the primary key join column primary key join column to keep the relation between employee table and person table okay the person employee table is employee underscore tpsc the person table is person underscore tpsc right so to keep the relation between person table and employee table we are using at the primary key join column with this it will create one extra column in the employee table to keep the relation between person and employee okay now in the employee table it will store only salary date of joining department bonus and email okay the rest of the details of employee id and employee name and gender will be stored in the person table now the primary key will store inside employee table not clear guys then based on that key i can keep the relation between person table and employee table okay in the same way for student table also i have added at the primary key join column at primary key join column now let's see go to client so in the client okay in client i have created one employee okay i have created one student so employee is extending person right or not now so inside whenever you are setting data for the employee you are setting bonus department joining email along with this along with this you are setting up salary is also part of employee right along with this you are setting data for name and gender those are the properties of those are the properties of properties of employee class guys clear or not we are setting for the super class properties also in the subclass correct or not those are inheriting but whenever you are using the inheritance type as joined that time these properties will be stored in the 
person table only so from the person table the relation will maintain in employee table that relation will see same way i have created for student table student name and gender is properties of person those are extending in the student class right the respective school name and section name is we are using of okay from student table student class right now after saving the details now let's go to yes have created now let's run it now let's see it is created of employee underscore tpsc and person underscore tpsc and student underscore tpsc three tables are created now let's see how the data is stored inside this okay now let's see the data is inserted go here now inside uh, inside we have inserted two records right or not we have inserted of one is suresh other is pooja okay suresh and pooja is id is one gender is female name is pooja only three three properties are only three properties are stored in in person underscore tpsc okay rest of the details of uh, student table are uh, stored in student underscore tpsc okay again there there is some extra key okay normally what is the details of student fee school name and section name right or not fee school name fee and section name right the next extra column id this is the primary key this is the foreign key in this table that is coming from tpsc okay that is coming from tp Yes, see that is the reason. Now, if one is there here, means we can go to person table, and then what is the idea of one? The details is gender is female, uh, gender is female, and name is Pooja. Pooja is student, and his school is Delhi Public School. Fee is thirty thousand and third standard. Okay, clear, guys, or not? If you want to see the uh, employee details, then select employee. okay now employee bonus department name date of joining email and salary apart from this we have one more column that is id from where it is coming it is coming from it is coming from at the primary key join column from this there is some extra column is added there is some extra column id is added that is primary key of person table okay for this id the data will be available in the person underscore tpsc to the id is to mail and suresh guys is clear or not guys here we are maintaining the instead of normally how before we are storing so employee contains all the data for the first case in the second case it is contains of duplicate data means duplicate even employee contains even employee contains let's see select star from em employee underscore table per class right table per class now let's see what in this table contains id gender name these three columns also coming in the table per class right that means that again these three properties are duplicate in this employee table right or not Yes. But in this case, okay. But in this case, person table contains ID, gender, name. Employee table contains also contains the person columns, whatever that is there inherited to employee class. Those columns also with that columns the table is created, right or not? In the table per class. But in case of 
table for subclass uh, that is not like that so whatever the common columns the first columns id gender name these will be separate table those properties will be created in the separate table the relation between those person and employee table we can keep by using by using by using primary key whatever that is added with this we can keep the relation guys not clear or clear now now if you want to get that select okay star from employee let's keep it here only write it query normally you can keep Want to keep anyway? No issue. P where dot p dot p dot id here with both our ids. Okay, p dot id equal to p dot id. Now it will return that m name. All those things, all the details will be. returned clear guys this one the people who are not responding if not clear let me know guys i'll repeat it again now only so instead of making duplicate of these columns in the other tables okay what we are doing we are maintaining the relation between the parent and child tables okay by using one column that is called prime by using a annotation called primary key join column this will keep the relation between parent and child okay now this is what uh, the inheritance okay now we are moving to now we are moving to mappings okay before going to mappings uh, let's discuss about uh, these uh, words terminologies and then We will move to mappings. Okay, what is cascading? Okay, in case of Hibernate, the terminology cascading means okay. Terminology cascading means keeping the relationship between two objects. Okay, if we are performing any operation, DML operation, data manipulation operations on parent object, on parent class object, then if the dml operation is applied to the child class automatically okay then we'll call it as a cascading okay we'll call it as a cascading then for that values means the cascading type equal to delete means if super class parent class object is deleting means all its sub class objects also will delete if cascading type is insert means then if you are inserting any parent object automatically the data for the child class object also will insert automatically okay now all means whatever the operations we are doing on the parent class all operations will be applied to the sub class or child class object is it clear cascading means guys cascading right now the lazy loading and eager loading what is mean by lazy loading means let's say you are trying to get some data from database okay you have parent table is there and child table is there okay but you are trying to get only the you are trying to get only the child table or parent table only one okay if you are trying to get only parent table then only parent data is coming means then we will call it as a lazy loading if child class objects are going to fetch from the db whenever it is required on the on demand basis if the data is fetching means then we will call it as a lazy loading okay eager loading means whenever you are fetching data from parent object from the database automatically the child objects is also coming at the, along with parent then we will call it as a eager loading then we will call it as a eager loading guys lazy loading and eager loading means let's say you are have you are trying to get data from some parent class employee class okay then along with parent along with employee class if address details also coming okay then we will call it as a eager loading okay if only employee details also only coming okay 
whenever you are trying to get the data from address that time only if the data is loading means from the database then we will say it is a lazy loading okay guys the terminology just remember it okay and one more is inverse attribute inverse attribute means if it is a single direction okay if it is a single direction and backward bi directional both is there maybe the words you might have uh, heard right inverse equal to false means inverse equal to false means then the relationship between parent and child is one direction single direction okay now if you are keeping as uh, true means uh, then we can get the data from parent to child as well as child to parent we can keep the relation in the both the ways we will call it as a, that inverse okay is it clear guys this terminology is cascading lazy loading eager loading and inverse okay now i am moving to mappings okay everything is here practical guys okay that uh, programs what i did is i have given the screenshot like this so i am giving all this uh, projects to you by exporting right so you can get that from by seeing the name okay here i am giving one to one mapping okay go to one to one mapping and you can do you can do up see guys a given like this so you can copy paste like this from the project folder is it right is it okay guys or you want to add all the files in the document fine right i have given the screenshot of the project okay and from the project you can copy paste all those open that folder extract that whatever the rar file i am going to give right extract that and just copy paste those folders and by creating that uh, or else you can import that project also directly okay anything is fine fine right guys if you want means i will add the files okay or else i, I will give the structure is like this only okay now what is mean by relationship or we can give associations mappings or associations or relationships all or the names are same okay when the relationships are coming to the picture when the relationship will come into the picture means whenever our tables are having relation with multiple tables means dependent with other tables okay let's say in the previous case itself we have seen employee person table is stored only person id name and gender and other table is storing the employee related information and they both are keeping relation between them right or not by using at the primary key join column of that primary key name okay so that is going to add the relation between the tables so in that case the relationship will come into the picture okay now how many types of mappings are there okay how many types of mappings means one to one mapping one to many mapping and many to one and many to many so if you are doing one to many then automatically that is reverse of many to one okay now first example first example is first example based on our requirement we need to choose which is suitable for our requirement which is suitable for our requirement okay let's say for example let's say for example you people might have passport right right or not guys passport or other card okay or pan card so so you have passport id or other card id or pan id so is anyone will have the same passport id or pan card number or other number no right that is compulsory that is relating to only one person right or not so if you have suresh is there one some pan card means that pan number will be compulsory associated to suresh only it will not associate to any others then i can say the relation between this uh, pan card and that other is uh, any person and with other or person with pan card or person with passport i can say it is one to one relation or not one person contains only one passport 
right or not not multiple one person can contain one pan card yeah can someone is asking go ahead guys yeah any doubt hello no right yeah now so one to one relation so let's say one person is there i want to apply some passport or pan card okay if after applying you will get some pan card id or passport number right then if someone is applying passport then the same passport number which is given to others will not give to you right that compulsory that passport id will be must will be associated to only one person so then in that case we should think in this case one to one relationship is required that is based on the requirement we need to decide it okay guys based on the requirement we need to decide it now let's take one example in this case let's read it in one to one mapping one object of a class is associated with only one object of another class or one record of a table is associated with only one record of another table in this case we are using of both the tables with the common primary key okay with the common primary key to keep the relation between two tables or two classes okay now let's see the example let's go to example let's go to one to one first i'm taking up application user application user is there any clarification required on these two annotations guys at the entity at table no need this one is at a generated id at a id that we know at a generated id generated value means this is for generating the primary key okay before we are using auto you can you can use of sequence also doesn't matter anything is fine now internally the hibernate will create one sequence we don't need to do anything okay now what's the primary key of this column name the applicant id okay application user i am using application applicant id and the primary key column in the database i want to create application applicant underscore id okay now name of the column is name age is same city and one more i am keeping one more this application user must have relation with some passport i am creating a for instead of pan card or other card i created one passport table okay passport class okay this applicant must be relation with passport applicant must be relation with passport in that case we need to use one to one annotation internally it will create the mapping between our applicant and with the passport both on what basis the mapped by column we need to use this mapped by column we need to use in passport class passport class and one more thing cascade equal to what type of what type i want before that i told you guys cascade what is mean by cascading if i'm cascading is all means what will happen that we are doing on the parent class all will be happen to child class okay now passport this is of type all are normal type right city is string age is int name is string applicant is int this is a primary key now passport is also a one of the attribute in applicant class applicants in user class okay now for this property we need to keep annotation is one to one one to one mapped by applicant in this class okay this property we need to use to keep the relation between application user and passport classes now let's go to passport let's go to passport inside this at a entity at a table and this will be used means why do we need why do we need these things why do we need these things means to keep the relation between primary key and foreign key in the some other table in the application user it will create one id 
right or not one primary key it will create the same id i want to use in the passport to keep the relation between application user and passport okay how can we do that means okay directly it won't do so we need to use some annotation is called at the generated value generate equal to use some name okay and at the generator generic generator name equal to whatever the name you are giving in the soup above same we need to use here what is the strategy you are going to follow strategy equal to it is a foreign key relation it is a foreign key relation between between primary key table and sub table parent class and sub class okay now to which parameter i need to make okay now go to at the parameter annotation name equal to property what is the value applicant go to applicant come down applicant okay this we used mapped by column in the application also mapped by column in the application also okay guys now in this table we need to use at to one to one annotation and along with that if we are adding at the primary key join column at the primary key join column then in this case it will keep the relation between two tables between two tables now let's go on this is of main things guys now we will go for a client class and then we will set the data okay now go to here now for time being remove of these two okay i'll explain them again go to client so in the application user guys before going to here is it understood guys these two the application user class and passport how exactly keep the relation between so we need to use at to one to one annotation okay at one to one annotation that we need to keep okay then in that case it will create one column between those two tables as a common okay now let's go and see guys are you able to hear me right yeah foreign key means yeah let's explain about foreign key okay now let's say employee one table okay let's assume employee contains emp id okay e name and just assume address okay address let's say i have one more class address i have one more class address and employee id salary okay now salary in the address table in the address table i will maintain of address id okay add underscore id and city and street and one more column e id some name some column okay now let's say for suppose employee id i have entered as some name employee name is just to employee id is 10 okay employee name is ram and his salary is some thousand rupees okay this is the employee details compulsory employee contains some employee contains some address right or not guys just for example explaining about the foreign key i am giving this example okay let's say assume every employee contains some address in the office or not right now if employee let's say assume if this is not there okay employee employee address i am adding address id equal to some hundred okay even not no need of this address just address id is also not required directly you can give city is bangalore or my village is kadapa okay and city is street is some circle okay city circle see city circle okay if how can i keep the relation how should i know employee table is employee id name and these things right now let's say one more is one more is suresh okay and his salary is 2000 okay now he is also having some uh, vijag okay vijag and his 
called a bend circle bend bend circle now how should i know what is the address of employee ram employee ramana address what is the address of employee suresh employee id 12 address how can i keep the how can i know that who asked this question guys netravati deepa yeah deepa here so how should i keep the relation means let's say for example this is the employee id 10 the address of address is kadappa city and city circle okay then how should i keep the relation between these two means by using this is the primary key right employee id is compulsory you need to keep between that you need to keep for in the office right in the companies now that employee id i will use in the address table i will use in the address table then if i am keeping this as a 10 and for this if i am keeping as a 12 means then easily i can understood that yes employee id 10 name is ram his address is kadappa and city circle okay now for employee id 12 name is suresh salary is 2000 his address is vizag and street is bench circle so with this uh, is it easily you can identify right now in this table this idea i can call it as a primary key in the address table i can call this ead as a foreign key in the other class i can call this id as foreign key is it clear ma in the first table i can call this id as employee id as a primary key in the sub table i will call this as a foreign key is it clear now deepa sorry viba yes sorry yeah is it clear viba now yeah yeah now go to now go to now let's create the data now i have set the data for application name age and city okay and passport also i have set passport passport number issue date and uh, next is expiry date okay after that after after this what i am doing as part of application user as part of application user i have a property called passport right in the same way in the passport i have a property called applicant so we need to set the data between each okay application dot set passport equal to passport object and application dot, uh, sorry passport dot set applicant equal to application object we need to keep the data okay and save the applicant and save only applicant okay no need to passport save only applicant now run this i have saved only one class guys applicant only okay now let's see what will happen There is one more way is also there that also we'll discuss and then we'll finish up this one now let's see it is created of it is created of i have done create right let's go to oh it given as a update right let's if you want you can see that again normally for creating tables i am telling you guys create right let's delete existing data and everything and create freshly that's for that i am rerunning again to show you the table creations I will just modify to update to create. Now see, applicant uh, table is created with the primary key is applicant. Okay. Now, next uh, tab passport table is created with primary key passport ID. Now data is 
inserted both the table data is inserted in this case both contains only the primary key and extra is related with some id okay now let's see that go and go to table and now select applicant application id is 1 age is 20 city bangalore and rajes and the passport see the passport id is also contains same both having same id both are having same id okay now based on that it will create the relation okay between those two now there is a separate column if you want to create if you want to create a separate join column if you want to create then we need to go for one more example one more example let's control z here yeah now create it okay and these two for time being keep it in commented mode okay now i have created uh, two more things uh, that is same exactly everything is same but the annotations are a little bit uh, modified i have removed here that one i have removed that passport attribute in the main table and go to passport 2 go to passport 2 this is everything is same okay this is and i have used one extra annotation that is called uh, this is common and at the join column before i used of at the primary key join column now i have used of at the join column at the join column with this attribute it will keep the relation now let's run it data is everything same now run the same data again okay no modification now let's see let's see there is one extra column we'll create in the passport table with uh, app id okay as a foreign key now applicant two table is created and passport two table is created that's what i have given for uh, these two okay now let's go on applicant two and one more table is uh, passport two class with the table is passport two okay now in the database in database select this is no modification application id age bangalore and rajas at the time of passport at the time of passport one extra column is created with the app id to keep the relation between them okay or else you can set this one that's what here it is You want let's go and sequence use sequence now let's run it okay run it again for showing of some different value i'm trying state it again now here also it is created again okay now i am thinking of to get the data from sequence okay application one application two and passport two both are having primary keys okay now in the passport table we have extra foreign key also this application id value will be stored in the passport two see alter table passport two add constraint some constraint name and foreign key is equal to app underscore id references of app to table app to table of uh, this id it will take it okay the primary key column it will take now let's go and see the data of the table now let's run it now it is one okay here always it is giving same value but this is of extra column that is going to create guys okay or else or else if you want let me go here 
identity okay keep it identity now let's go to client class applicant dot set set applicant id equal to some 10 just told you 10 i have given now let's verify it what is happening any constraint parent key not found violated it is generated something maybe it is generating here yeah, it is not taking that so compulsory we need to generate that id okay but it is of the value is it is the value that we will call it as a whatever that is generating inside for the applicant the same id we are keeping inside same id will keep inside here as a extra column in the app id okay if you want to see more on this then we can go and see of what is the primary key column passport to passport to to table now see now app underscore id it is having relation with uh, the table is applicant to okay this is the proof for that it is taking that value from applicant to table as a primary key that value compulsory it, it will be here okay now if you are trying to delete this record if you are trying to delete this record also delete delete from table passport to where passport underscore id equal to one means it will not allow because it is having some relation with it will not delete from where id it is it will not allow actually passport id what is happening there is some foreign key relation right data is delete, deleted i think we are keeping on some relation cascade all somewhere yeah cascade equal to all we kept so that is the reason both is deleted join column it should be of applicant id but how it is going to delete it Let's run it inside to here do this. What happened somewhere still? Generated always identity column. Let's me cannot insert value generate always identity column attribute statements applicant ID somewhere. Let me keep it in the above is of sequence. Keep it sequence this also and go to client test or remove this right go to create here client test it is given that in applicant to age and applicant id values
guys so to to generate almost we need to Example my table program. If you have a program different, you will get the value when it is null. For instance, we have the value start of form. Let's see that. Okay, but the relation between those two is guys. It is based on primary key and foreign key okay but with this already have seen one example with those but it is of a key but we should remember that the relation between those two how can we keep by using one to one means we need to use of at one to one annotation between tables between the whatever the project class that we are using we need to use of at one to one annotation okay and whatever the mapped by column must be there in the other class which are that is passport that passport property that is there so inside that that property must be there okay property must be there and we need to use of at the primary key join column okay is it clear guys the second second thing is giving some issue maybe okay maybe that it doesn't matter no issue you can ignore this Skip it. Okay, maybe you can ignore the second part, second option. The first one you can take it. Okay, is it okay, guys? I have given one more option to understood of one to one relation. Guys, are you able to hear me? So you can consider as the first option. Okay, one is application user and passport. Okay, inside that we are using a for first one is application user. Inside that we are using a for property extra property the passport as a property. Okay, for that we need to use one annotation at one to one and mapped by whatever that name we are giving here that should be used in the passport class. Okay, that should be used in the passport class applicant compulsory the passport otherwise it can't keep the relation between both both the tables okay now let's go to the second one one to many next second one is one to many one to many means one object can have relation with multiple multiple objects in other table okay multiple Objects in other table. Okay, let's say we will take off. You log into some uh, flip card or somewhere. Okay, so once you logged in, there may be you are adding up trying to select multiple items, multiple items to your card, to your card. Then in that case, compulsory account is one, but it is having sharing of items is increasing. Okay, you can increase of multiple also, right or not? Even that is also an example. And one employee can contains multiple address also. Okay, even one employee can contains multiple address also. That also you can consider as one to many relationship. Okay, now whatever the employee ID primary key, it should be in the address table. It should be in the address table. Let's say if for this employee ID, if I I can add one more, one more. Let's say one more. Address Bangalore is a temporary address. I can consider as a Bangalore. Bangalore is a temporary address where we are staying. Just assume Marthali. Okay, Marthali. So now, so the employee is same. Employee single object can contains of multiple address. 
then we can consider in this case we can go for a one to many relationship one to many relationship how exactly we can map the one to many relation through annotations through annotations now let's go and see that one to many relationship okay now open one two let's here here also everything is almost same guys only little bit annotations will modify only annotations will change it this is everything is same employee class i have employee underscore otm i have given as name otm for one to many for specifying for identification of table in the database easily okay there are many tables with employee that's the reason i have given employee underscore otm one to many the columns are same employee id name first name and last name age salary and we have one extra every employee contains multiple address let's assume every employee can contains of multiple address means for that i'm taking up a set of address set means it's a collection right set is a collections i can store multiple addresses in set okay so for that what we are need to use at one to many annotation at one to many annotations we need to use on which attribute employee attribute in address table in address table go to address table address class here entity same address table i have given address underscore otm okay one to many here here is everything fine now address id next go to street city and zip code and i have created employee class employee employee one attribute in the address table the mapped column we need to use this is what the name of the mapped column in the this is what name of the mapped column in the employee class right this is the name of the property now on top of that we need to use at before we are using at one to one now this is contains in employee it contains of one to many one employee can contains multiple addresses right but here the annotation is at many to one this addresses can contains many but the association is only one with the employee only one employee okay this all addresses can contains of one employee the relation is reverse is only one okay what is the join column of you want to add the employee id join column in the address table employee id join column in the address table with name of the column is eid okay this is the primary key of employee table okay now let's go to client test class the main thing is only this annotations guys okay now in this case one employee can contains multiple addresses that is the reason one to many right now in the address table contains one employee can contains many addresses so that is the reason many to one reverse i am giving okay when we are annotating with at john one more is at join column in the address table as a foreign key okay now go to client test or go to client test create now let's run it no before that let me show you the data so employee name is first name is baudip last name is reddy age is 28 salary is 10000 okay now he is he is having contains let's say current address current address is mg road and city is bangalore zip code and i have added this to employee current employee dot current employee dot set employee equal to employee it contains one employee object right it contains one employee property in the address okay we need to set for that and one more and one more address also have created sorry close all open many yeah yeah employee is created after that uh, to which employee okay address is created after this address to which employee i should associate this so current address dot 
set employee equal to to this employee i want to associate that this address and one more address i have created permanent address okay permanent address is yz and employee to which employee i need to associate this permanent address same employee object i want to associate this permanent address set employee of the same employee object we need to keep then in this case for this employee i am setting two addresses one is current address other one is permanent address now save this all the objects employee of employee current address and permanent address okay now let's run it now let's see how it is created yeah now first address underscore otm address one to many table okay now employee one to many table okay now inside that both having address id primary key this also primary key now in the address table the employee id is a foreign key right for that it is alter that table okay now next yeah this is inserted one record in the employee table and two records in the address table two records in the address table one one, one address insert one more address insert now go to database and verify it Now employee one to many. He is having employed one, age twenty eight, body pretty, body last name pretty, salary ten thousand. Now the same employee ID it contains in the address table as well. In the address table as well as see address ID two and three having same employee ID. That means that employee ID one having two addresses. Employee ID one having two addresses. Is it clear, guys? This one. So employee ID is one. Okay, who is employee ID one? The details is it is there. The employee underscore OTM. Employee ID is one is having. Bowdeep his salary is ten thousand. Name is Reddy and age is twenty eight. So he is having two addresses. One is Bangalore address. One is Vijayak address. Is it clear, guys? This will call it as a one to many relationship. Is it clear, guys? Now, now next one is next is many to many. Now next is many to many. In which case we can use many to many? Many to many relationship means let's say one object can have relation with multiple other objects. So other object of let's say I have one X class and Y class. The X class object is associated with multiple objects of Y class, and Y single object is associated with multiple objects of X class. How exactly means with example? Let's say assume uh, we have bank. Okay, let's say you have one bank. Let's say you have HDFC Bank. Okay, account is there. Okay, so. A bank can contains a bank can contains multiple customers. Okay, and you have an account of that. Okay, and you can contains one more account also with other along along with HDFC account along with HDFC account you can have one more account in some other bank. Okay, a bank can have multiple customers and a customer can have multiple bank accounts. Is it clear, guys? The relation is. One many to many. In this case, a bank can contains multiple customers, right? Right or not? And a customer can contains multiple bank accounts, right? Not same same bank. A bank can contain only single customer can contain only one account. The same the customer can contain the some other account in some other bank. Okay, state bank or HDFC or Bank of Baroda or whatever it is. So in this case. We can go for a many to many. In this case, we can go for a many to many. A bank can contains multiple customers, and a customer can contains multiple 
bank accounts multiple bank accounts in different different banks this in this case we can go for a many to many relationship many to many relationship now let's go on to understood this it is bit difficult guys if anything is not clear let me know okay we will not maintain two tables here hibernate will create one extra table for us hibernate will create one extra table to maintain the relationship between two tables to maintain the relationship between two tables hibernate is going to create one extra table okay along with bank and customer let's see now many to many so what i did is i created one bank class okay bank underscore mtm many to many okay now this is nothing bank id the bank related properties are bank id bank name bank name okay ifc code okay and along with that along with that a bank can contains of multiple customers that i am treating as set of customers set of customers okay set of customers now sorry now we need to this is bit careful guys this is the main important for many to many whatever i have selected so the annotations we need to use at many to many fetch equal to lazy what is mean by fetch type lazy guys i told you lazy loading i told you lazy loading guys remember eager loading and lazy loading i told you right lazy means if you are trying to get some data from parent class the child class data will not load whenever it is required that time only it will load those that will call it as a lazy loading okay now fetch equal to keep lazy and cascade type is all whatever the operation you are doing on parent class all operation you will do on child class as well okay or related class that is let nothing now the logic will the main thing is this annotation only what at the join table will do at the join table it will create a new table it will create a new table it will create one new table what is that name of the table is bank underscore customer underscore mtm this we can give any name okay so i have created this is the common table for a bank and customer i am creating on separate table what is the need of this table what was the need of this table means that i will tell you slowly i am creating this table to keep the primary keys and foreign keys of the bank and customer tables inside this bank underscore customer underscore mtm table one bank can contains multiple customers okay a customer can contains multiple bank accounts right that relationship the primary keys of those tables we are maintaining in the bank underscore customer underscore mtm table the primary keys of tables guys okay now primary key and foreign key relation table is there right those columns we are keeping inside this third table the table is bank underscore customer underscore mtm what this table contains the columns what this table contains the table contains join columns we need to use of join columns which columns you want to add at the join column annotation of name bank underscore id bank underscore id of bank table and inverse join column inverse join column this bank id is associated with other customer who is associated the customer okay his customer id that's what we will call it as a inverse join columns for that the join column name is customer id name is customer id now go to is it clear guys with this it will create one separate table guys okay in that table two columns it contains bank id and customer id for my bank i have let's assume i have one hdfc account okay for me there is some account for bank account, bank there is some account id there is some 
bank id for hdfc that id will be stored in the bank underscore bank underscore customer underscore m2m table with this what are all the customers is associated those values will be stored inside the same table by using customer underscore id column of customer table okay now let's go to customer here is customer table now come down here is here is m to m many to many mapping fetch type is lazy and mapped with customers mapped with customers of bank customers of bank it is mapping with this property now let's see the magic of now client table client test all this is going now so how many model object you have guys two right one is bank other is customer now let's say i'm creating one bank bank one hdf bangalore some ifsc code okay now i'm going to create uh, one more bank okay bank two bank name is state bank branches hyderabad some ifc code okay now let's say so i am keeping these banks i am keeping these banks in i am keeping these banks in set right set so set of banks and i have created one collection object guys set of string instead of that set of banks banks dot add of bank one banks dot add of bank two and stored those two banks in banks collection object okay now same way i have created some customers customer one and customer two email name and mobile number customer having okay now i have created four customers i have created of four customers okay now see the relation okay now see the relation I have created a set of customers where is the bank there is a set of customers on property in the bank set of customers in the bank right now i have created one set with the customers okay customer list one i have added two customers in the one list okay for bank one for bank one object for bank one what is the bank one it is of hdfc bank as part of hdfc i have two customers i have two customers that list i am saving inside bank one has in hdfc okay and i have created one more list i have created of one more list the customer list that is customer 2 3 4 i have created as one list that list i am storing in bank 2 bank 2 is of store bank yes guys so each bank contains multiple addresses right multiple customers right and now now and the customer contains also banks set of banks one customer can have multiple bank accounts right for that also created two this one one set is for with two banks right in the above now let's come down yeah now session dot save of bank one session dot save of bank two bank one has uh, some name and he has some customers is associated bank two is also having some customers and it is associated with some set of customers now let's save it Okay. here bit careful guys so here now let's see how many tables it is created now let's see first it is created bank underscore customer underscore mtm okay now as part of this it contains of two columns one is bank underscore id other one is customer underscore id so on what basis it is created inside bank we created this one right based on this we have bank underscore id customer underscore id with the table is bank underscore mtm with that 
Hibernate is created uh, one table. Okay. So now let's come down and it is created bank underscore MTM table for a uh, bank class. Okay. Now let's go to one more is customer underscore MTM for customer also it is created one table customer underscore uh, MTM. Next. It is altered. It is altered. Bank underscore customer underscore MTM table. Whatever the customer ID that is there. Okay. That is making as foreign key. Foreign key. Same way for a bank also. Okay. Same way for bank ID also. It is making as foreign key in the bank underscore customer underscore MTM table. Now all the data is inserted. It is created of all the primary keys. Okay. Now let's see. First, it is inserted bank. Okay. First, it is inserted one bank and his related customers. It is inserted two customers. Next, one more bank with three customers, right? One more bank account with three customers. One, two, and one more three customers. Here, four. No, no, it is a bank relation. It is keeping the relation between bank and customer table, right? Come on, uh, one extra table it is created, right? It is keeping of relation between them. Okay, it will create multiple associations. Now let's go and check in the database. So let's see how many is created, guys, for bank. If these two banks you have created or any other things you created? Now let's go on. It's two only, right? We have created two banks. One is HDFC, other one is State Bank. Right or not? The bank for, for bank ID for HDFC is one. The bank ID for, ID for State Bank is four. Right? Now let's see what is the HDFC customers. To know the HDFC customers, the bank ID is one is there means we should consider it is a all our bank ID having one we say we can consider as HDFC customers. Is it correct or not? Right? This is the primary key, right? So if the bank ID is one means for any customer, then I can say it is a he is related to HDFC customer. If a bank ID is four means for any customers, then you can consider his account is associated with state bank, right or not? Right now, let's go to customer table. Now, customer table having there is no primary keys of bank table, guys. Okay, leave it about now. All customer ID is customer C 2356. Two customer ID, his details is Ramesh at gmail.com, mobile number and name is Rajesh. Right? Now, same way for 2356. Four customers are there. Four customers. Now, let's see the relation in the different table that is called newly created by Hibernate. Inside that, the relation is there. Now, let's control C, create one more now see so bank id is one okay bank id is one two rows is the one who is the customers for that bank id one bank id one is the hdfc who is the customers of that two customer id two and three customer id two and three now go and customer id two and three customer id two and three these two records are the Rajesh and Asok are the customers of which bank? HDFC, right? Now let's see one more. The cust bank ID is 4 with the 3 records is there. Okay? Bank ID is 4 is with the 3 customer IDs. What is that? 2, 5, 6. Right? 2, 5, 6. With 2 Rajesh having account in HDFC as well as in two five sorry sorry come again guys yeah he is having account in customer id two 
फाइव सिक्स दीज पीपल आर हैविंग अकाउंट इन स्टेट बैंक राइट आर नॉट वेर वेर कीपिंग द रिलेशन गाइस इन साइड इन साइड बैंक एंड स्कोर कस्टमर एंड स्कोर एमटीएम सेपरेट टेबल इट विल मेंटेन द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन बैंक एंड कस्टमर्स दैट इज ऑफ थर्ड टेबल ओके सो बैंक आईडी 1 मींस इट इज ऑफ एचडीएफसी द कस्टमर्स ऑफ एचडीएफसी इज 2 एंड 3 ओके हु इज 2 एंड 3 द कस्टमर आईडी डिटेल्स नाउ लेट्स सी कस्टमर आईडी 2 एंड 3 इज इट इज ऑफ 2 एंड 3 राजेश एंड अशोक ओके नाउ लेट्स गो एंड सी the customer id bank id 4 okay he is having account in 2 5 6 the customer id is okay now let's go and see he is having 2 okay 5 6 these three people are having account in state bank this is where the m2 many to many relationship will come into the picture if you want to main one bank contains multiple customers and a customer contains multiple bank accounts right in this scenario the third table will come into the picture to maintain the relationship between primary key and forward key relationship of those two tables is it clear guys if you are practicing guys then only you will understood this terminology all those things guys okay fine guys any doubt guys you can ask me now you can ask me guys any doubt we'll discuss sorry sorry auto and sequence right yeah auto and sequence is automatically even auto also internally it will create of one sequence that is called hypernet underscore sequence internally it will create by internally it will create by hypernet see hypernet underscore sequence if it is already there it will delete it see create sequence sequence name if you are using it will create it it is creating by inside it is there in whenever you are giving let's go and take up some other example now we'll go and where is that yeah here generation type equal to okay if you are giving sequence then it will get from sequence okay which your sequence you are maintaining if you are creating any separate new sequence in the database then from that sequence it will generate that value if it is not there if you are giving directly simple as sequence then internally it will create as a sequence if you are using as auto even in that case also hypernet internally it will create sequence internally in case of auto also it will create sequence in case of sequence means we can do the customization if you want to give your own sequence name then from that it will create that sequence that next generated value primary key auto means hypernet generated it will generate sequence means we can give hypernet sequence you want to generate or your own sequence you want to generate that that's what the difference between that not clear hello now let whether your sequence should generate your own sequence you need to create in the database and you need to use that name here the name of the sequence whether you want to do that or the hibernet itself want to create the sequence and use that sequence value or not that is what the difference between auto and now if i want to go and see now let's any oh simple product is related let's see Now here is identity begins. We need to give up that. Okay. Mm. 
let's read auto Now, let's observe it now. I did only create. It will create one sequence. If you want, you can go and see. See, if it is already there, it will delete that. Okay. Create sequence from this, it is taking that. Okay, so the value will come from the hibernate sequence. Okay, now let's say go to database, select that value from the sequence, right? While inserting, select. Now, so what I am doing? So now it is giving second. Already it is inserted with one. Okay, one value. Now let's go and verify in this table. Select employee. It is inserted one. Employee ID is generated one. Right. Now let's go and see one more. Sequence. Let's read. If you are inserting one more, let's assume just update. Okay, update. Now go here. Go to employee and of Rajesh. Rajesh and some forty thousand. Okay. Now, now let insert already in the sequence. I have selected next value. Two is came. If I am running again, three is coming. Running again, four. It will go. Let's see. Now it is seven. If you are running the query now, if you are running this, it will generate the next sequence value is eight. Okay. Now run it. But out the next inserted value, the value will come from. The sequence, the next value, whatever it is there, already seven times I executed that, right? So the next value it will store, it will generate from that sequence. That value it will store in the employee table. Now let's wait. See, employee created with ID eight, employee ID. Now let's see. See, it is inserted one record with employee ID eight. Okay, now if you are changing to, if you are changing to, now change it to create again, guys. Okay, there is some issue. Now go to employee class. Go to employee class. What you asked is sequence, right? Sequence. Now this time also, see, second time it is not created sequence, guys. Directly it is creating from hybrid sequence. All the next while it is taking. Okay. Now this time observe it. If we are not created this sequence, we hybrid will create it. Okay. If anything is already there, it will delete it. Now let's see. Already hybrid sequence is there. So what the hybrid is doing? Already this sequence was there. That is the reason it is deleting that existing one. Okay, deleting the existing one and created the same sequence hybrid underscore sequence starting from one to one. Again, it is started from every time it is starting from one. Every time it will. Delete the existing sequence. Hibernate default sequence is Hibernate underscore sequence. 
hibernate underscore sequence. So if you don't want that, then our own sequence ID we need to create. Then one second, if you want that. It sequence in Just little bit annotations, we need to use some annotations, okay? Even anywhere, they will use of sequence, okay? If you don't want that, then we need to use of some sequence name. This one. Then, now go to employee class, okay? Shift, F, control, shift. Now internally it will use of one sequence my sequence okay from that it will generate it now let's go initial value I am keeping as some hundred okay now create only now let's see We need to create a sequence. Let's see. Sequence does not exist. Okay. For that, create sequence. Start by 100. And now let's see. That sequence is not there, right? In the database. Okay. That is the reason it is created one sequence. The name of the sequence is. What is the name of the sequence? Now go to employee class with this name. One sequence is created by Hibernate. Now let's refresh it. Go to sequence. Now let's see somewhere. See that it is created one sequence. It is created one sequence. Okay. Now let's employee and score card table. Now go on read it. Now it is. See what is the employee ID? It is I given some value. Initial value is starting value is hundred. I given. Right? You understood or not? Hello. Hello. You are able to understood, right? So before what is always it is creating hibernate sequence only. If it is already there, it will delete it. Okay. Now this time we are using of our own sequence. Okay. Let's say if you are modifying now next. Now let's go to. So let's, okay. Now let's run it again. Whether it is a your customized sequence or hibernate generated sequence. Which one we need to use? That you need to decide it. Okay. This time what I did, I used a customized sequence. I have given some sequence equal sequence generator name of that and sequence name is this one. What is the initial value? What is the allocation size? These values will be used at the time of give, generating the sequence for one by one you want to allocate. One by one or how you want to use to generate that sequence increment by 100 okay now let's see now it is giving up it will give some different value now let's go on oh sorry guys this time what we did here we created again right now update now change it to okay. 
is something allocation size we have given right so based on that only the next value it will generate okay go to database instead of this you can use or sequence if it is done not yet let's wait a minute what happened yeah oh constraint issue rerun it now let's see if the value will come 400 500 every time it will increase 100 100 where we given that like means where we have given that employee ID allocation is there right here this will increase every time 100 let's say if i'm giving 50 okay then it will increase every time 50 okay now why is that's what the actual thing is guys this is base run this is a based on uh, the sequence which you want to use of your customized sequence or you want to use of your existing hibernate generated sequence uh, which one you want to use that will decide this generator sequence sequence are auto these two auto means always it will use of uh, hibernate sequence uh, then in case of uh, uh, if you are using sequence means every time it will delete that and then it will use it if you want your own customized sequence uh, then we need to use the like this okay this is what the difference is it clear the question who asked it now inserted go and see created of only on record okay this is of some constraint data issue guys no issue but the actual the main intention is that only the main difference for the auto on sequences that's what whatever i have given theoretically now that's what the difference is it clear guys if clear yeah someone is asking some question any question If not, guys, then we'll discuss tomorrow the next topics. I'll give the document, and then please practice it. I'll share the workspace as well, both everything. Okay, guys. Thanks for today's class. We'll be tomorrow again. Okay?